Here's a roller beater taken from a Bissell vacuum cleaner. Um, came to the workshop with a snapped belt, which uh, I think um, can be put down to this being obstructed and the vacuum cleaner not having a clutch, uh, therefore causing the belt to, to break. Um, one thing noticed though, is that there's a little bearing under this cap at each end and it's gone a little bit noisy. If you can just hear that. Well, anyway, as with other vacuum cleaners I've looked at in the past, um, these come with uh, a little um, sealed roller bearing at each end uh, that can be removed. But we're just going to see if we can improve things by taking the cover off the individual bearing and uh, re-greasing and putting it back together just to extend the life of the roller beater, uh, saving the need to buy a new one. The little grey end caps here uh, that locate in the vacuum cleaner can be just removed by pulling them off the end of the, uh, the axle there, exposing the bearing underneath. To remove the bearing, it's pretty simple. Uh, choose a screwdriver in the end there and gradually work the bearing and the plastic free from the end. As you can see, there's, this bearing's got a load of dust around it, I guess uh, that's what happens with vacuum cleaners. Um, that love to has to be removed with a brush, that kind of thing. Um, and this bearing here in the middle, removed from the outer casing. Uh, just a little dust down with a brush just exposes a pretty generic uh, roller bearing there which I'm hoping can be pressed out of this casing just using a little drift or something suitable in there so just to push that out and then you'll see there's actually a metal cover on the bearing that I want to pop off uh, clean the bearing up within put some new grease in and hopefully that will extend the life of the bearing With the bearing removed you'll see an empty cup, there's a little uh, sprung washer there that sits within the cup there, just at the back there, and I just drifted that bearing out using a screwdriver and a soft mallet. So this just shows the bearing removed from the cup uh, on the back of the space, well rather sprung washer there. And I've just popped off these little covers. Now, they're not really designed to come apart, but you can get them apart with a little bit of care, uh, a standing knife, and a little screwdriver lock I've used here. Obviously, don't abuse that uh, tin cover too much because it will deform and you won't be able to get back on. Um, but uh, that's exposed the roller bearing. They're all there, correct and present. We're just going to give that a clean with some brake cleaner, uh, regrease it with some uh, high melt grease, pop these covers back on into the cup, and uh, we'll be ready to do the other side. So there's the uh, ball, uh, the bearing uh, with some new grease applied. I've just better pop the covers back on. So there's the bearing back together again. Uh, you'll see a slight indentation in the cover there where I had to use a screwdriver to leave that off, but that won't affect the performance of the bearing and will extend the life for a little bit longer. You can hear that's much, much smoother now. So here we're going to just put the bearing back in the end uh, cap or assembly on the uh, roller there, the black bit basically. Um, so in goes the spring washer and the bearing should just push into place. Obviously we've given this a whole clean up. Um, that should just sit in there. You'll notice it's slightly springy because there's a washer behind there to hold it in place and to manage a bit of end float on the roller beater. There you go, nice and smooth, ready to be refitted. So we're just going to refit that back to the roller. Obviously, I'll do the other side and uh, demonstrate how uh, much quieter or smoother the roller beater is at the end. So there are the new uh, bearing caps inserted each end of the roller. Roller beater there. All ready to have the axle refitted.
they just push back into place ready to be refitted to the vacuum cleaner. And just to prove that what we've done has made a bit of a difference, the turn the axle there, it's much much smoother, no hint of any noise or any grumbling, and that's ready to be refitted back to the vacuum cleaner.